Hey guys, just wanted to do a follow-up video on the Serena Williams Sports Illustrated um, cover that article magazine <laughs> that she did that she's on featured on for sports sports person of the year. Um, I didn't get past the cover last time um, because I was just focused on her dress and her inappropriate posturing. Um, but I did read the article, and in it, it talks about how she. Uh, danced uh, with Donald Trump on New Year's Eve, how that she looked up to and admired Oprah Winfrey and Martha Stewart for their uh, business ventures, um, she, how she did a movie which grossed, it was a flop, a pixel movie, um, which uh, grossed $234 million, so that's a great flop. <laughs> and uh, And it also goes on and talks about um, her training and her events, her traveling. So, I mean, this doesn't really leave a lot of time for Christian activities, I would assume, but that's on her. <laughs> but uh, she's a very busy person. And uh, it goes on to talk about, which I found really surprising, was that, <laughs> is that she... She's known for her, well, first of all, let me just show you the article where it says that, you know, I do want to be known as the greatest ever. And, of course, that's the goal of every um, Christian person is to be known as the greatest ever. That should be our goal. Um, but it does go on, surprisingly, to talk about her kind of fighter personality and, and her language on the court. And it says, um, no one suggests that Serena has evolved into a sports ambassador of peace and quiet. Her fans have her, oh no, her fans love her combustible displays as much as her detractors loathe them. And between Williams' sprays of F-bombs in the 2015 French Open final and her screaming, yes, bitch, yes, after blasting a winner during this year's U.S. Open semis, blah, 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 blah. I mean, really? Like, this, this lady, if she's claiming to be a model Jehovah's Witness, she does not fit the mold. And the problem with that, um, you know, I'm glad she's doing her own thing, maybe not this thing, but, um, I'm glad that she's not overly concerned about uh, promoting JW.org or, you know, pushing literature in people's hands. But, you know, she, she is not the model Christian for Jehovah's Witnesses. And the reason for that is because she has lots of money that she brings to the table, and the organization wants that and wants to keep her. So therefore, she gets to bypass all of the rules and regulations that the other Jehovah's Witnesses don't get to. And that's the point. That's hypocrisy, and that's wrong. And so that's really the problem or the issue that I take with her. It's not necessarily her, although I'm not a big fan. <laughs> But it's really about the hypocrisy of the organization and how they say that all, you know, our people are this and, you know, the finest of the finest people. And yet, and yet this is what they truly are. F-bombs, <laughs> mega money, New Year's Eve dancing with Trump. I mean, this is really, this is really her. They want to promote an image that that isn't true and it's in black and white like I, don't, I have no reason to make this up so anyway get your copy if you're interested um, because if she is in indeed promoting herself as a Jehovah's Witness a fine upstanding uh, young lady she really is falling short so anyway just sharing that with you and uh, later I would really like to thank Sports Illustrated for recognizing me, not just as sportswoman or sports of the year, but just sports person of the year. And uh, of
of course, for me, none of this would not be possible without um, Jehovah God giving me the strength to do to what I do every day and for waking me up every day. And um, again, just thank you.